Well, everybody, Spectacular, the Silver Stacular is here. Today, we're going to talk about what $10,000 looks like in both gold and silver. Today, the spot price of gold has come down over the last few weeks. It's about $18.50 an ounce, and silver is at about $21.87 an ounce. You know, this is going to change each and every moment because that's the way the price fluctuates. So don't, you know, hate me if that price goes crazy up and down. This is just kind of a visual idea of what your money looks like in different forms as of this very moment when I'm making this video. So $10,000 is what we wanna look like. So here we go. Uh, first of all, in order to get $10,000, let's go ahead and do the cash form of $10,000. So this is what cash looks like. And uh, we all know these right here. It says $100 all over it. And you know that it doesn't feel like $100 in a bill anymore, does it? No, it does not. No matter where we go, grocery store, we try to buy a vehicle, a home, whatever the case may be, these are not moving the same that they used to. It is what it is, but we kind of need these in our everyday lives, whether you believe it or not. Got to have this stuff. It is what it is. It's what pays the electric and other things, right? Let's be honest. So let's do $10,000 of those, I don't want to say cold hard bills because they're not, they're like room temperature floppy bills. No real substance of these, they just kind of flop right there on the table. Ugh, you know, Ugh, we don't like them, but whatever. It's a necessary evil. Let's see, some more Benjis. Let's go ahead and pop some more of those on there. And we need one more stack in order to be at 10,000. So there you go. That's what the $10,000 in cash looks like, at least in $100 bill form. So we're just going to go ahead and put those right there. Now we want to see what gold and silver looks like. Let's go ahead and start with gold. It should be a kind of a smaller stack of gold. Uh, let's see. Let's do some math. So $18.50, we want to get $10,000 worth of it. So we need about, what's that, 5.4-ish, 5.4 ounces. So let's try to get out. Let's see if I can have that much. Oh, my goodness. All right. Forget about the collectability and the numismatic value on these, if there is any. Uh, just focus on the gold itself. Let's go Let's go that route because uh, I'm going to have those comments, I'm sure. So this is a one-ounce buffalo. So that's one. I mean, what do I need? Five ounces, I say? Yeah, five. Okay, that makes sense. Five. Here's an American gold eagle. Two ounces. What is this one? Oh, yeah. Again, let's not, let's not consider the collectability at all. Three ounces. Uh, what's this? A maple. Man, say what you want about the maples. It is a pretty coin. It is pretty. Anyways, what is that? Four? Whew, oh man, it's gonna be tough. All right. Uh, five. Five ounces. It's a pretty one too, huh? But again, we're just counting the gold only. So there's your five ounces of gold. Now we need the 0.4 or we can just go for tenth ounces. So here is a tenth ounce. One, two, three, and four. Again, don't worry about the collectability, the premiums, anything like that. We're just going to go with pure gold only because obviously uh, there's more value here in this little stack than 10,000 just because of the premiums, the uh, collectability, the numismatic value. Those three things, this stack will be a little bit more, but Again, gold price only. Now, silver is a little bit more difficult, right? Because there's going to be a lot of silver on this table if I do this. So let's see. We're trying to get $10,000 worth of silver. Uh, the price right now is $21.87-ish. <sighs> My math is correct. And I want to put both hands on there to show that I'm not trying to put a calculator. Uh, that's about 457.24, right? Yeah-ish. Let's go 457.24 ounces. So we're gonna go ahead and put uh, a nice big old brick on the uh, the table there. So there's one. Oh, they're heavy. And another 100 ounce brick. We're at 200 ounces so far. Jeez Louise, St. Francis. All right. Oh wow, here's another 100 ounces. Ah, can you tell I have a silver addiction? Wow, huh? You probably do too. You're probably addicted to this stuff, just like me. I used to have an addiction to soap, but uh, I'm clean now, so that's we're good. Here's another 100 ounce ah, brick. Whew. All right, so there's four 100 ounces. Now I need, let's go with, uh, let's do some 10 ounce bars. Here's an angle hard right here, one. Here's another angle hard, a little different type right there, two. Uh, we got any more angle hards? Of course we do. Yeah, there's more. Let's go with one more of those. 
and something different. Let's go with a Scottsdale this time, right? Those are those are chunky and different, but that's still 10 ounces right there. So what do we got here? We got uh, uh, 440 ounces. We need more though. We need more. Let's go with a here's a five ounce silver town. Ooh, this one's pretty right here. Let's go with a rarities bar, huh? That's a five ounce. Let's go with that one. Put that on the table. Uh, what else? This is also cool too. This Republic National Bank of New York, little Johnson Matthew bar, five ounces again. So we've got uh, what is that? Uh, Fifty? No, four hundred and fifty-five ounces. We need two more. All right, two more ounces to make four fifty-seven. So let's go with a couple of these little guys, these little Monarch one ounce little poured pieces, and then we need just about a quarter, a quarter of an ounce. Let's go with one of these right here, just about a quarter. So we're pretty close. Quarter of an ounce, little pie-shaped pop piece right there. So, boom. <sighs> okay, so that right there is your 457.24 ounces of silver. And I think I dropped a little bit. I'll put it right back. There is your 5.4 ounces of gold and your $10,000 in cash. And that is what $10,000 in the different forms look like. So you got to get out of Dodge. You got to get up and run. What are you more likely to take, right? That's going to always be the question. Um, I think that this stuff right here is very concealable. So is this stuff right here. This stuff right here, it preserves your wealth. It feels good. It's nice to have a 100-ounce brick. But man, it doesn't move very well, right? They're very heavy. You keep one of these right here on your person and your pants, and your pants are down by your ankles, just like all these kids around here today, right? You don't want that if you have to run. But that's if you have to run. If you don't have to run, if you have a stationary place, if things are always going to be lovely, and who knows what tomorrow will bring, we don't know. Nobody does. You can say all you want that when SHTF happens that you're going to need to have something a little bit more portable. But listen, people have been wondering when SHTF is going to happen for you know, a lifetime or two, and it hasn't truly happened to where you need to run around with your gold and silver um, in our lifetimes. So maybe that day is coming. Nobody truly knows. But regardless, if you diversify, I think you'll be okay in all situations. I think that silver is a more industrial metal. I think that gold is a great preservation of wealth. And you can see how powerful it is in such a small little amount right there. And this is, again, this is very portable, this gold. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to always probably need some cash unless, unless the uh, economy does 100% collapse. And I mean 100% collapse. And in this case, um, you know, the dollar probably won't be any good, right? It'll be like the Zimbabwe. Before you know it, you'll see trillion dollar notes and they won't be worth hardly anything. You'll need many trillion dollar notes in order to go get some bread and something from the grocery store just to survive with. But who knows? Who knows what tomorrow will bring? For right now, this is just a nice little video comparing the different amounts. And uh, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you, uh, if you like what you see, keep watching because I have more stuff that I'll show throughout the channel. In fact, can I highly recommend something? Go back in history on my channel. Go back and look at some of the thousand videos that I have. I got a thousand plus videos. Chances are there's some old videos that might answer some of the questions you've been having, uh, whether it's me just talking and rambling like I'm doing right now, or I'm going to a coin shop or a bullion shop and talking to a industry um, you know, professional, uh, owner of the shop, who can actually explain it as a, you know, uh, an owner. So in a different perspective, in a different way, they can explain to you some of these things I'm talking about. And I've done all those. So enjoy the channel. I hope you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Spectacular, though, is out. Well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. You know, when I was a kid, we did this every day in school and I believe we need to bring this back a little bit and I'm gonna start right now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.